guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cherie, if you are new here. Thank you for clicking on this video today. In today's video, I am going to do two quick reviews um, because I felt like I didn't have enough to make two separate videos and I wanted to mention just a few couple of things about each show. So the first half of the video will be uh, Married at First Sight and then the second half I'll talk about all the foolishness that is happening on Big Brother. So let's go ahead and get right into today's video. So we made it to the finale and the reunion and everything. Mary at First Sight season five is officially done. And surprise, surprise, I was wrong. All of the couples actually made it and they are still together. Even at the reunion, I was like, at least Danielle and Cody are not going to still be together. But they are all still together. So congratulations to all of those couples. You proved you proved me wrong. I don't know how you guys felt if you thought they were going to make it, but everybody made it. Um, Nate and Sheila are doing well. However, there's still no orgasm, which <laughs> I would have not said that on national television. I just feel like I wouldn't have. And being the control freak that Sheila is, I'm surprised that she mentioned it on um, national television as well. But she did, and somehow this woman has not... Um, had an orgasm yet and I know somebody mentioned in the comments on a previous video that she was over 30 and she never had an orgasm as well I'm like what is happening or not happening in these streets I just I don't I don't know so yeah um who else Anthony and Ashley they are going well there's no baby thank god she's not pregnant because they kind of made it seem like she was going to be pregnant on like the previews but no she's She's not pregnant. They're doing well. They're still in the building with her sister. Um, so that's good. Um, Danielle and Cody, they remember Danielle's best friend and Cody's brother were dating. They met at um, Danielle and Cody's wedding. So they're still together. So this has been a really, really successful season of um, Married at First Sight. Um, I don't like how they kind of like, I guess they had to because it was such, it wasn't like, a lot of drama as opposed to the previous season because everybody stayed together so they kind of had to like drag it out because if they asked me like are you guys still married yeah <laughs> next question right but they kind of made them adjust and make these facial expressions so it was just i didn't like that part just tell us yes or no um instead of dragging it out and then they could have um taken more viewer questions if they didn't have the drama that they necessarily wanted but yeah that was married at first sight season five and i think um next year they will be in boston i think they're casting for boston now so if you are in boston and um, you're open to this crazy experiment that is Married at First Sight. Go ahead and sign up and I will be watching next year and I will be reviewing you <laughs> next year as well. So congratulations to all the couples. Moving right along on to the foolishness that is Big Brother this season. And <laughs> this is the first season where I am genuinely not rooting for anyone. There is not one single person left in that house that I can say that I want to win this game. Nobody in that house deserves that $500,000. And I am so disappointed in um, Paul that he is just, his ego is like on 10,000 at this point. Like he is really, and it's easy for him. So he is easily running this house and could go all the way to take the $500,000. And I guess it was just, for him being robbed last season that he's like I'm coming and I'm taking it really <laughs> I'm taking it all the way this time so, but let's back up so okay so under Jessica's HOH Ramsey is evicted <sighs> dumb and then Paul is wins to HOH and of course he's putting up Cody and Jessica and um it's confusing like Cody and Merritt at first sight and a Cody and Big Brothers so I'm trying to keep them straight so yeah, Jessica and Cody are nominated. Um, then because of the temptation, they have the second little battle temptation thing where you can win yourself um, safety for the week. So um, Mark does won that. Um, Mark just, Mark is like a little boy in a big body. Like all of those muscles in his brain is just like, whoa, but listen, 
Josh, what's the boy name? Is his name Josh? Josh had one more time and he was about to get it upside his head if he kept messing with that boy. That boy has been bullied and he went to the gym and got him some muscles and now he doesn't have time for Josh's shenanigans because he's been through he's been through that. So then we see that Cody it's, just, it's so exhausting. Like Cody and Jessica she she really is uh, I forgot what's the girl's name Alex yes Alex is her name Alex said that Jessica is a mean girl she is very insecure um and she's dead on like Jessica is a mean girl and she is very insecure because Cody was I felt like Cody was being very vulnerable when he told her that you know this is how I am this is why I've been single for so long um I just I have a really close tight circle with just mostly my family and this is just how I've been and she was just not trying to hear him uh, so I kind of felt bad for Cody in that moment but yeah Jessica actually considers letting the house vote out Cody but we see that she just could not do that to her boo <laughs> not yet but he is going to be the downfall of her game Jessica still has a shot at winning this game but it's going to take a lot because the whole house is against her. Um, but I think she has a better opportunity without Cody of winning this game. Because as long as Cody is in the game, it's just going to put a further divide between them and the rest of the house. Where it's going to be, if not already, it's going to be unrepairable. So yeah, we get to eviction night and um, Jessica uses the hex and nobody goes home. But then we have this quick HOH contest in which I was like, how are they going to fit that in? Because they had like maybe seven or eight minutes to get that whole thing in before they had to go back to commercial um, just to wrap up the episode. So Julie was really trying to like get them to just like hurry up and pour the Christmas with a little crutches and she trying to child that was a mess <laughs> and Julie was like, hurry up Christmas. And she was like, lady, I, clearly I'm on grudges, but. Julie just cares about, you know, fitting all of that into that one hour segment. But they managed to do it. And Lord have mercy. Mm, 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 mm. Lord have mercy. Josh is head of household. So you know what that means, right? Basically, Paul is head of household together. So we can expect, um, unless something crazy happens, because you never know in the Big Brother house, but we can expect uh, Cody or Jessica to go home on Thursday um which I really don't care <laughs> like I said I really there is no one in that house that I really want to win anymore just not even it, maybe a 10% chance because remember I said I wanted Kevin to win but I don't like Kevin's gameplay I just uh, I don't know I don't I'm not a fan of anyone in the house anymore so I'm not rooting for anyone but if Kevin won I wouldn't be mad. Anybody else? I'm like, uh, no, but Kevin is silly, so <laughs> I like him. But yeah, so we can expect a lot of more foolishness this week. A lot who God only knows with Josh is head of household, what's going to be in store. I know it's going to be crazy, but it is big brother. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below on both Married at First Sight as well as Big Brother if you watch that as well. Um, and I think that is it. I knew this video was going to be short because I didn't really, like I said, I, the reason I put them together because I didn't have much to say about um, both, ep both episodes or so I just put them together, but let me know what you guys think. <laughs> All right, guys, as always, you guys be blessed and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.